Hi everyone, welcome to the dark side of YouTube. If you don't know me, my name is Isassin, I am a rapper slash producer and average music enjoyer, of course also known as Asian Tony Hawk. In this occasion I'm gonna shoot my opinions on new record by one of the legends in music industry, Love 6 by Avril Lavigne. So, without any further ado let's get started. For 20 years now, Avril Lavigne has swung a pendulum between her two rock personas, playful, vaguely punkish pop, C, skater boy, girlfriend, and, here's to never growing up, and self-serious alternative my happy ending, nobody's home, and that unfortunate collaboration with Chad Kroger in 2013. Yet despite regular attempts to shift her sound, 2019's Head Above Water was a collection of glossy pop ballads fit for Demi Lovato or Kelly Clarkson. Levine's legacy appears forever tethered to the pop-punk moment of the early O. To casual listeners, she'll always be the teenager in the necktie, tank top and heavy eyeliner skateboarding to the mall. Yet the Canadian singer has never released a true blue pop-punk album. Her colossal debut, 2002's Let Go, was more Michelle Branch than MXPX and the follow-up, O4's Under My Skin skewed toward brooding Evanescence core. After that, pop-punk faded from mainstream relevance for more than a decade. But flash forward to now and hey, all those Blink-182 riffs are en vogue once again. Blink drummer Travis Barker, architect of the genre's resurgence, is making a killing off the recycled sound, his resume now overflows with collaborations and production credits associated with rappers turned rockers Machine Gun Kelly, Trippy Red and Black Bear plus newer pop-punkers Willow, Jaden and Maude's son, Levine's boyfriend. So, at 37, Levine has finally made her first front-to-back pop-punk record, Love Sucks, out February 25th on Barker's DTA Records label. Call it what you want, a nostalgic cash-in, vapid fan service or pop-punk paint by numbers. But it's also pure fun, deeply infectious and some of the most thrilling music Levine has made in a decade, a fiery big sister to the cheer punk moments of 2007's The Best Damn Thing. Produced and largely co-written by Goldfinger's John Feldman, another pop-punk omnipresence Blink-182, State Champs, The Used, and Mod Son, Levine's seventh LP surely scratches the itch for nostalgic Warped Tour kids, with monster hooks built for that When We Were Young Megafest later this year. The addicting second single, Love It When You Hate Me, is the best of the bunch, boosted by a punchy verse from Black Bear and magnetism from Levine, who is unsurprisingly confident in this style. She sees in all her hot pink meets jet black glory on the opener, Cannonball, where a bad religion power riff gives way to hurtling digital production, a few tweaks and it's a hyperpop song. And she's plenty pissed on, voila, a speedy duet featuring MGK, of course it does which builds to a he said she said climax, a sonic sequel to MGK's, Forget Me Too, with Halsey in 2020. The lead single, Bite Me, revels in predictable petulance, with Barker pounding away on drums, as he does for most of the album, as Levine snaps, you shoulda known better better to fuck with someone like me. While the album is mostly centered on ugly breakups and vague heartache, the singer turns tender for, All I Wanted, a sweet, we're in this together, cut with Blink's Mark Hoppus, who adds a steady albeit familiar vocal. Much of the rest is hollow pop punk, nothing newfound glory or simple plan hasn't already repurposed many times over. Without its F-bombs, the sugary title track could be a Jojo Siwa song. But as we collectively emerge, again, from the pandemic, with hope to reclaim some semblance of easy fun, Love Sucks is a fine soundtrack. The production is slick, Levine's vocal is unwavering and loaded with just enough attitude. Add it to your, pop punk is fucking back, playlist and don't give it another thought, lest you lock onto telling lyrics like this one, from, Deja Vu, it's the same thing over and over again. I bless this album with the score BP cuss. Feel free to comment down below what's your takes and perhaps you can recommend me track or album that I can review in the next video, hit the like or dislike button to rate this video. Thanks for watching and please don't cry, I'll see you in the next video. Bye nerds.